Advancements in technology have given consumers access to streaming content anywhere, anytime. And while video has grabbed the headlines, the audio entertainment spectrum has expanded with all kinds of choices in recent years. The rise in digital audio streaming represents a massive opportunity for brands to connect with consumers. But successful advertising is always a function of reaching the right audience with enough message frequency to make a difference. And that's where New Voodoo's 2022 Digital Media Study comes in, we'll show you where and how much and by whom audio content is being consumed. Up next, an overview of streaming, smart speakers, and smart car audio. We've got the data for you, coming up. New Voodoo helps brands reach consumers with audio advertising, no matter where they are. Take advantage of our private marketplace deals and gain access to premium content so you stop wasting impressions. Leverage our data partner relationships to target just the right consumers on audio brands they're passionate about. Your message gets through whether listeners are staring at a screen or staring off into space. Let New Voodoo help you make programmatic audio part of your next omni-channel marketing campaign or as a standalone strategy for your brand. We're here to help. Contact us at tellmemore@newvoodoo.com. In our Q1 2022 digital media study of 3,298 14 to 54 year olds, digital streaming platforms or DSPs are now listened more each week than radio by all generations. Platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, and YouTube Music are used weekly by more than three quarters of Gen Z, ages 14 to 25 in our sample, and millennials, ages 26 to 41, and by nearly two thirds of Gen Xers, ages 42 to 54 in this sample. Radio still draws significant weekly audience at six in 10 within our overall sample, but its audience skews older, with Gen Z's weekly radio use dipping below 50% for the first time in nearly 20 semi-annual New Voodoo Media Studies. Conversely, the audience for podcasting pushes younger, with 45% of Gen Z and 54% of millennials now listening on a weekly basis, compared to only about a third of Gen X. So what does the term radio mean to the average consumer these days, given the proliferation of available audio entertainment choices? The younger we look, the more loosely ascribed the term radio becomes. Whereas nearly 9 in 10 of Gen Xers are definitive characterizing radio in the classic sense of actual AM and FM stations, around half of Gen Z and millennials broaden the definition to include digital streaming platforms, and a third add Sirius XM, and nearly a fifth include podcasts as quote-unquote radio. Want more reasons to be device agnostic if you're managing audio entertainment brands? There are more Bluetooth speakers than radios in homes across the nation, and more smart speakers than radios when we consider Gen Z, the 14 to 25s in our sample. As time goes by, all forms of audio entertainment will become less tethered to their specific platform and more distribution agnostic, meaning only the audio brand itself will matter. Those in the audio entertainment industry must zoom out to the widest field of view possible when taking a snapshot of the competitive landscape. It's not enough to consider only platform-specific competitors. In the horse race for audio app supremacy, Spotify leads comfortably with 48% in our total sample using that app regularly. That's followed by YouTube Music at 41%, Amazon Music at 35%, and Apple Music at 31%. Spotify and YouTube occupy first and second place for most regular use among millennials and Gen Z. Gen X puts YouTube Music in the first position, followed by Amazon Music. For the first time in 10 studies, each conducted roughly six months apart, we've seen a flattening in the previously steady, uptrending trajectory of smart speaker growth. Among our total sample, which you'll recall tops off at age 54, roughly 7 in 10 report having a smart speaker somewhere at home. However, smart speaker listening continues to head higher. DSPs have experienced a 20-point lift over the past year from 45 to 65% of those with a smart speaker now listening at least 30 minutes each week. The half-hour listening threshold has also increased for radio and podcasts, albeit more modestly, by about 10 points apiece. 
All audio entertainment channels benefit from those having a smart speaker at home. 55% listen to DSPs a half hour or more each day. 38% spend 30 minutes or more every day with radio. And 33% clock in that amount of time spent listening to podcasts. In a preview of coming attractions, the era of the connected car may still be in its infancy at around 13% of our total sample, but the era of the connectable car is upon us, now with half of all respondents with the ability to hook up a mobile phone or other portable device to their car audio system using Bluetooth or cable. That leaves about a third of Gen X, a quarter of millennials, and about one in eight Gen Z drivers with a legacy car radio. But more modern car audio systems offer more choice, and that results in more time spent with newer media brands. For now, it may be fewer than one in five in our sample driving a connected car. But with 60% of that segment spending 30 minutes a day with DSPs and 38% listening at least a half hour a day each day to podcasts, the future bodes well for these platforms as Americans upgrade their vehicles and spend time behind the wheel commuting post-pandemic. Even legacy AM-FM radio enjoys a modest bump in listening from those behind the wheel of a connected car compared to our total sample. Audio entertainment listening is at a high point and listeners have never had more choice. New Voodoo helps clients reach these engaged consumers with programmatic audio advertising wherever they are, in their car, on their computer at work, their smart speaker at home, or on their mobile device on the go. Let New Voodoo help you make programmatic audio part of your next campaign. Just contact us at tellmemore at newvoodoo.com.